What up YouTube, this is Scrub Quad Pro here bringing you a Destination X pay-per-view preview of uh, so the TNA Destination X. So before I get into the card, the matchups, what I think is going to happen, I remind you to like this video. If this is your first time seeing me, please click that subscribe button and comment below on what you think is going to happen in the pay-per-view. Uh, if you like the X Division pay-per-views or not, let me know what you think. So uh, let's jump right into the card. Oh, wow. Alright, so Destination X is pretty much like TNA's pay-per-view that's built around the X Division. So if you're looking for your um your Sting Mr. Anderson match, your Kurt Angle match, that's not gonna be in this pay-per-view. So if you're thinking of buying it for those for C Sting or Mr. Anderson or C Kurt Angle, probably not the pay-per-view to buy. But if you're looking for some high flying action, you got people putting their bodies on the line just to uh, make fans happy, then this is definitely a type of pay-per-view. So in this pay-per-view, looking rolling down the card here a little bit, you'll definitely see a lot of high flying maneuvers. And then of course you're definitely gonna have your exhibition championship match between Abyss and the or Brian Kendrick. I guess he's just I guess he got rid of the the when he came over to TNA. So with that match, Abyss is the champion, so Brian Kendrick is the challenger. And being that it is X Division and Brian Kendrick sort of fits the X Division mold in TNA, I have a feeling that Kendrick is going to win this match. But I mean you never know. TNA can be a little bit unpredictable at times, but I think the obvious situation would have the actual X Division wrestler win the match. The next match on the card is Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles. This is like a friend on friend match. It happened a couple years ago before Daniels left TNA. He's back now, and they're um, he's a, they're both members of Fortune, so they're friends, and they're wrestling each other again. In this match, um, I think I'd have to see AJ Styles winning this match uh, because you know he's been in the company longer, and I just think it'd be a little bit more obvious to have him win because I personally think he's a better wrestler than Daniels. Maybe that's just my opinion. We have Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. Now, before Jerry Lynn came back, I didn't know who he was. I still don't really know who he was. I'm guessing he must have played a big role in shaping the X Division. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, though. So, I think Jerry Lynn may take this match, but I'm not sure. I mean, this, this is a pretty even matchup. I mean, you obviously have Rob Van Dam, who is a world champion in TNA and WWE, so he's definitely a heavyweight. But he has that X Division style, uh, so I think this match would be um, be a pretty even match. It will probably or possibly be the show stealing, or the I guess you could say show stealing, uh, steal the show match. But uh, my pick there is Jerry Lynn. Next match you have Samoa Joe versus Kazarian. Um, another one of those matches where you have one X Division. And just like a heavyweight, like you have in Brian Kendrick and Abyss, and I guess you could say Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam, and I guess you could say that for AJ Styles and Chris Daniels. But so this Kazarian versus Samoa Joe, I, I honestly didn't really know they had an angle going on. I guess they did. I mean, TNA sort of in their Impact Wrestling, they sh they shift focus towards main event, which leads the X Division out. So this pay per view is pretty much a showcase for the X Division. So in this, I, I got Kazarian over uh, Samoa Joe. Uh, Kazarian just a better wrestler, and like I said, I don't really know about their feud too much, so I can't really say anything about that. So we have a um, X Division contract match. That's uh, pretty much a bunch of old guys coming in. You got Austin Aries, then got Jack Evans in there. You got Low Key or Cabal in WWE. So my obvious pick there would be Low Key or Cabal, whatever you want to call him, because he, he was with the company uh, back in its in its brand new days, I guess you could say, and um, he obviously had a little stunt with WWE, didn't really work out, should never even 
happened in my opinion. So I definitely think that TNA could use a guy like Low Key to um, help their X Division really be the only part of their company that outshines WWE who they consider competition. So I got Low Key in this match. And then of course we have the main event, the return of the Ultimate X match. Now this is one of the most crazy, unpredictable matches in professional wrestling. What it basically is, is you have a couple poles that are connected with wires at the top, and above you have a um, you have an X up there, or maybe a contract, but it's normally an X. And so you, I guess you could have six, maybe eight competitors, maybe even four, I don't know, and they go for that X, but of course, you know, these guys are X Division wrestlers, so you see some of the craziest maneuvers that have been known to professional wrestling. So this is one of the most exciting matches. I'm really looking forward to this match. Hopefully uh, we can see some of those crazy maneuvers. I mean, I've seen highlights of Ultimate X matches, and they're absolutely insane. So if you are thinking of buying this pay-per-view, but you're not quite sure that the Ultimate X match be your deciding factor I would if you if you're on the verge I would buy it just for that match that match will probably be insane so that's pretty much it for my uh, TNA preview uh, there may be a few matches added uh, by Sunday but you never know just some fillers uh, there's been a rumor that Dallas Williams may have an open challenge uh, we'll see how that turns out so um Hope you guys enjoy this pay-per-view on Sunday. If you watch it, if you don't, um, that's it for me. Uh, Scrub Quad Pro signing out. Peace.